Hey, 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 everyone. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> How are our ILM satisfied singles? singles. <laughs> Amen. How y'all doing this evening? Please gotcha. type in and let us know how you're doing. We'd like to ask you that first before Absolutely. we go on because we actually just care. That's simply we really why do. we do it. We could have just went straight into it. Amen. But I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that you have decided, Pastor, mm. to clone yourself. Mm. You know, our title of our last message last week was Clone Yourself. We were trying to get you to identify that if you can get in line with Christ, yeah. right? Amen. Genesis uh, one twenty eight. If you can get in line with Christ and reproduce after your own kind, yes. right? Yeah. And 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 find the time with the Lord, as Paul said in his message to the uh, Ephesus church or yes. the Corinthians church, rather. He said, "I wish you would do as I am, and I'm single." So he's saying, yes. do as I do, which is walk singly for single for the person that's unmarried and for the widower, right? Yes. Or for the person that's a widow. And so we discovered last week that you could be fruitful and multiply Absolutely. and replenish the earth as a single person by fulfilling God's plan for your life, yes. which will be causing someone else to say, what must I do to be saved? That's right. And if they say, what must I do to be saved after accepting Jesus Christ, then they learn the, the rules and laws and ordin ordinances of God, right? And when yes. they become witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ, then somebody's going to ask them, what must I do? To be saved. That's right. And that's how you reproduce after your own kind. Yes. And yes. we discovered that not just married people can reproduce after their own kind by the method of intercourse and having babies. However, that is a way that it is done. But we discovered that being single is glorifying God. Yes, it that is. That the fact that you are single right now in your state is the state that you're in. So you need to be happy in the state that's that you're right. in. Now remember, happiness is contingent upon circumstances. That's right. So let me say this, you need to be joyous in the state that you're in. Absolutely. And remember that being single does not mean being alone. Amen? Amen. God is with you. Amen. In your single state. Amen. 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 I'm really excited about um, this evening's lesson. Go with me to the book of Jeremiah. Oh, with us, yes. <laughs> Chapter 16, the Old Testament, the verse 1 and 2. Yes. Yes. And it reads, pay close attention. It says, the word of the Lord also came to me saying, hmm. you shall not take a wife, nor shall you have sons or daughters in this place. Place. Mm. That was Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 1 and 2. So when we look at Jeremiah, it gives us a cl real clear example of God commanding mm. lifelong singleness as a part of his purposes in oh. the Old Testament. Oh my. So who is it that God is talking about in Jeremiah 16? Mm. Now here it is, since the children of Judah are going to die from deadly diseases, war, famine, God mm. tells Jeremiah to be celibate mm. and to never get married or have kids. Mm. He also prohibits Jeremiah from visiting people to mourn or celebrate with them. That's long within itself and I would really encourage you mm. to study Jeremiah chapter 16 and you will learn about what um, God was talking about when he didn't want him to mourn and he didn't want them to celebrate, right? Nice. But moreover, not having kids during this time and season was seen as a curse uh, and it was undesirable. Mm. That's found in 1 Samuel chapter 1. For time's sake, we're not going to go there, but write it down because mm. I know you got your pad and your pen mm. and go back and study 1 Ch Samuel chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Now, it's really funny also, not funny, but strange that even now, people who don't have children, who never had children, never had pregnant, Sometimes people look at them like, what's wrong with you? Oh, mm -hmm. I can't believe you don't have any children, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're still moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. So when God, so here it is. 
we talked about last week in Genesis chapter 128 and 218 mm. that when you looked at the scriptures, it was really about the Old Testament. It was talking about time to not, right? Getting married, reproducing, having kids. It was a great lesson. Thank you, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. So here it is. Now that we're in the, moving into the New Testament, all of this changes, mm. right? So in the New Testament, single people are now a big part of God's mission. Okay. But the thing is, single people have always been a part of God's mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But maybe it wasn't talked about. Maybe it wasn't discussed, right? Or maybe single people were um, looked down on or, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Singleness is valued and it's elevated. Mm. And singleness is a big part of God's mission, a big part of his plan. So when you look at the different stories in the Bible of single people, they were being a part of God's family and God's mission. Nobody, I don't know who and how we started this separating single people and married people. We are the body of Christ. We are a family. Amen. So when you look at the many stories of the single people, it included key, key figure people like John the Baptist. He was single. Paul the Apostle, he wasn't married. Jesus mm. Christ, he wasn't married, right? The Ethiopian, the eunuch. The yeah. eunuch, uh -huh. amen. Yeah. Someone who, what is a eunuch? It's someone who was born without or no longer has their genitals, right? Oh my, okay. It's born into God's kingdom as a single man. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Acts chapter 8, verses 26 through 40, you can learn more about that. Okay. So here, what about honor? Oh, Anna, yes. Yeah, she was a prophet, right? Mm -hmm. But she was given the title of prophet, excuse me. And she Anna had, was married, wasn't she? For seven years, but mm. watch this. But then she became a widow. Oh, okay. And she stayed single. She remained single until she was 84 years of age. Whoa. So she was single for more, most of her life more than she was married. Absolutely. And it said that she worshiped God. The word says mm. that she, Anna who was titled of prophet, she worshiped God daily. And she was one of the first people that God revealed the significance of Jesus. You can find that in mm. Luke chapter two, verses 36 through 38. Go so ahead, she pastor. lost her husband. Yes, she did. But she worshiped God daily. daily. Yes. There's something to that. Worship yeah. the Lord thy God in your loss. Yeah. Until you yourself are found. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus, he lived a single life. He was never married. He never had sex. He was single all his life. Mm. And he had the biggest impact than any, well, any other person in human history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have to look at singleness is valued and elevated. Yes, it is. I so when we look Pastor. at the, thank you, Pastor. When we look at these stories and the accounts of single people in the New Testament, mm -hmm. they are not only recorded and celebrated, but Jesus and Paul both openly taught the singleness is good and should be pursued where possible. Mm -hmm. If it's possible, you should pursue your singleness. Amen. Amen. Goes and right Jesus there. said, for there are what? Eunuchs mm -hmm. who were born that way. Mm -hmm. Right? But they, when they chose to live as eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, mm. the one who can accept this should accept it. When you look at Matthew chapter 19, 12, and I'm going to, I want to go there. Matthew 19, chapter 12, verse 12, excuse me. It reads, for they are eunuchs who were born mm -hmm. thus from their mother's womb. And there are eunuchs who were made eunuchs by men and the eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He who is able to accept it, let him accept it. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul, who we know was, was not married, right? He says what? Now, to the unmarried and the widows, I, Paul, say it is good for them to stay unmarried as I do. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8, but you can also find in verse 32 through 35. Yeah. Now, some people, they will argue, they would teach that singleness is better than marriage. However, in light of the whole New Testament, marriage is still upheld and not undermined. Mm. And neither should singleness. Mm. Where does it talk about marriages in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, 21 through, through 30, 20, yes, 33? Exactly. It gives the responsibilities and the duties of a husband mm -hmm. as well as for the wife. Mm -hmm. So the key thing to remember in singleness and marriage, that they are both valued. Mm -hmm. 
and seen as having benefits and challenges. Single people, you are valued and you have benefits mm. and challenges. Married people, you are valued Value. and you have benefits, benefits and challenges. Challenge. Singleness is not, as, is, is not to be seen as second best in the New Testament. And when we forget this, we can weaken relationships in our discipleship. Mm. Let's not do that. Mm. The Bible never places single people into a single category. I need you all to hear this single people. Mm, the Bible that does not place you as a single person into a single category. Mm. But for now, whatever your relationship status is, be you single or be you married, imagine if we reflected on the value, amen, hallelujah, mm. and the struggles of both singleness and marriage, and created unity in our communities, if we created unity in our families, where we would elevate singleness and marriage where we would all ask what can i learn from this situation yes or how can i make them feel included we are the body of mm -hmm. christ, christ. Hallelujah. and one of the things as we are coming to a close that i really appreciate pastor mm, what's that, about pastor? inspired life ministries yes. is that i love that on marriage monday we have single people that join and i love for satisfied singles, we have married people that join. And it's not because it. um anybody wanted to get out of a out of their marriage and they're gonna view single. We're here to learn the word of God. We're family. We are family. If we can't can learn the word of God to encourage each other, then who else would do it? Mm, Amen. My Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord. God is good, isn't he? Yes. Isn't he family? Yeah. God is good. Never time when he's not. He doesn't leave you out. He doesn't leave you on an island by yourself. Absolutely. No matter what the devil's been trying to tell you. That's right. He does not do that. Instead, he engraft, engrafts you into his family. Yeah. Which is inclusive of marriage and singles. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you just happen to be at this moment single. God is granting a smile upon his beautiful face towards you. Yeah. Shining on your satisfactory of your single behavior. Yes. Now we ask to those who are looking at us and gleaning from our ministry that you continue to let us know that this ministry is valuable to you. It is very important to know that God is working in your life. And so if you can drop us a note from time to time to let us know that we would greatly appreciate it. Amen. Amen. And to those people who are looking at me right now and they do not know the Lord Jesus Christ and Thank the pardon you, of their sins, perhaps there may be one. And to that one, two, three, or thousand, I say, give your life to Jesus right Absolutely. now. He'll Please. make it right. He'll teach you how to be single and satisfied. Ask him to come into your life and save you, and he will. Yes. Amen? Amen. That's all the time we're going to give it today. We love you. We appreciate you. And more importantly, we need you to understand that ILM will always love, love you. you. But more importantly, God, God will always you. love you. Amen. Peace. We'll Blessings.